See, okay, these are good brothers. Like, these are really good brothers. He died in his hotel room in Japan. <gasps> Alright, welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Iron Claw, the movie that just came out. Well, it came out in December, just came out to a streaming service, so we're going to be checking it out today. I've heard this movie is very, very, very solid. I'm not really sure what it's about. I know it's based on a true story about a wrestler. I know Zac Efron plays that wrestler. And the other guy in it, Jeremy Allen White, who's from The Bear and a bunch of other things. But I actually did do for a little bit. And then a bunch of complications happened, so I wasn't able to finish it. I will be resuming that soon, and I will be posting it to YouTube very soon. I'm going to stop wasting time. If you want to check out the full-length reaction to this video unedited, that will be available on Patreon. Oh, it's 824. I didn't even know that. The Iron Claw. Ah! Mm. Bro. Bro's actually trying to kill him. Damn. Kevin's got me in the Iron Claw. Mm, okay, okay, that's the Iron Claw. Is the move? Is his move? But it sure sounded like everyone was angry. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it is all fake. But he was actually he was actually hurting that guy. Yeah. Oh, let me guess. These two boys are Zac Efron and Jeremy Allen White. How much does it cost? Mm. It's gonna be fine, Dottie. So is a lot. I'm almost there. Dang. The only way to beat it is to be the toughest, the strongest, the most successful, the absolute best. To rely on no one but ourselves. These kids are hearing that. I will be the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Gotta have faith, honey. Gotta, gotta trust the vision. We've been through hell. And we're gonna leave all that behind. I promise. And that kid's taking that to heart. That kid, whoever, whichever one that ends up, pro it's probably gonna end up being Zac Efron. Because he seems like he's the main star of this movie. Oh, there he is. But he's gonna end up taking that to heart. And taking that super personally. He wants to be just like his dad. Dude, what the fuck? Why is he like fucking 4% body fat? <laughs> Jesus, Zac Efron is so jacked. Overrun. God damn. Yeah. God damn. Bro, he said after a bay launch, he's never going to get that shredded ever again. And he's even, he's probably even more shredded than this with way more muscle mass. Ever since I was a child, people said my family was cursed. Mm -hmm. I don't know if my brothers and I believed it back then, but bad things kept happening. Pop tried to protect us with wrestling. He said if we were the toughest, the most successful, nothing could ever hurt us. I believe it. Mm, yep. We loved our father. And we loved wrestling. Oh, he did Iron Claw to Zach. Ooh. Ooh, oh, the fan came in. Who the fuck is that? Fan interference or a coach interference, whoever that is. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I've never gotten into WWE or anything, but this seems pretty lit, not gonna lie. <laughs> Bro, let, hit him with a Boston Crab. I'd love to see that. Kevin Eric! He's following in his dad's footsteps. Wait, oh, wait, I don't know if his dad ever made it, actually. Cause like, it just cut the, it just cut the present time. So I, we'll find out, we'll find out. <laughs> It just cuts to a wide shot, and there's only like 115 on the bar. So. Okay, so Zach won the genetic lottery, because look at his brothers. Kerry is about to become the family's first Olympian. Kevin mm. is the NWA Texas champion. It's time for you to start thinking about what you're going to be. That's a lot of pressure, dude. Oh no, Kerry's my favorite, then Kev, then David, then Mike. But the Damn. rankings can always change. All right. It's motivating, I guess. You're probably going to start feeling like you're not good enough and everything, you know. Just get in your own head. Dad's too tough on Mike, Mom. Mm. You got to say something. <laughs> Please. Kevin, that's between them. Well, he cares about his brothers. I'm sorry. It's just kind of funny, like, him saying that type of line with that toe and just being that jacked. Like, I don't know. It, it looks weird now because it's like no one else in the family is that jacked. It's just him. All right, I'm going to stop glazing him for how jacked he is. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop. This is a vibe. But his partner is still a mystery. 
You've been running that mouth of yours way, way too long. Do I have something special for you tonight, buddy? Can we just do that again? For yeah. Oh my, yeah, okay, I was about to say, Zach Everyone's doing a good job of playing an athlete who doesn't know how to talk shit. Boy, oh boy. It ain't gonna be all roses. Fuck. Y yeah. David, I hear you, stop. <laughs> He's struggling to talk, you know? Dude, I fucking feel that. Sometimes when I'm trying to do the intro and outro of these videos or like make a point, oh my God, like, I just can't see it. That's right, Bill. I got something special for the home. You've been shooting your mouth up, shooting your mouth, shoot, mm. shooting your mouth. Dude, it's tough because they got to do this all in one take. If it's so easy, you get up here and do it then. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd mm. love to. I'll give you a big boot. Dude, this movie's making me feel like I wish I, I was alive in 1979. <laughs> Ooh, Nasty. Oh, <laughs> Can I get your autograph? Wait, you know who he looks like? Billy from Stranger Things. Imagine Zach, this version of Zach played Billy from Stranger Things. That'd be insane. You're supposed to say nice to meet you, Pam. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, I kinda, kinda have a concussion right now. Did your folks not teach you how to ask questions? You know, who shall I make this out to? Or, um, would you like to have a drink with me sometime? Mmm, ooh, ooh, that was smooth. I would love to go out with you. I've just never been asked before. Well, hopefully it'll go well. And then no one else will have the chance to ask you again. Mmm, smooth. Got the Saturday ratings back. Highest numbers ever. If we perform and we have a world heavyweight champion in our roster, we could be the biggest promotion in wrestling. Oh, we'll have a world heavyweight champion. Mm -hmm. I can promise you that. What do you want in life, Kevin Von Eric? More ribs? <laughs> I want to be world heavyweight champion. Mm. Hmm. And I'll just fake. Fake? No, There's we... nothing fake about what we did. Well, yeah, they're actually hitting each other. It, it's choreographed, but they're actually hitting each other. They're actually hurting each other. You move up in any industry based on your performances, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that part of it's real. You become mm -hmm. world champ as a reward. Mm hmm Because you're the best. Yeah, you gotta be good at it. And on how the crowd responds to you. Mm hmm that's important, yeah. You know, be with my brothers. What do you like to do with your brothers? Anything. Yeah, as long as I'm with them, you know, it's like... Just being together. Yeah, exactly. We can do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to take care of everyone. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I'm not the oldest, though. When I was five, my big brother, Jack Jr., he died. Oh, I'm sorry. He just wasn't there to play with one day. Damn. So I'm not the oldest. Yeah, and that's why he wants to take care of all his little brothers. He's always going to be looking out for them. Where, where are you going? What? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it's a part of the family curse. But you never heard of the curse of the Von Erics? And I don't know, I guess her family had all sorts of tragedy. So when my brother died, people started saying that it was his curse. But I don't believe in any of that. I think we make our own luck. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Yeah, so that's going to be his, lo his love interest. Probably gets married to her. You are going to fight the world heavyweight champion mm -hmm. and show the world who you are and what you can do you will become the number one contender for the world heavyweight championship i love the confidence that dad has in his son i've dreamed of having that belt in this house my whole career no, okay he never got it ba never gave me the chance i deserved but they always robbed me at the last minute so you have to take this opportunity living out your dream you know this could turn into a situation where it's like zach never really wanted this he was just inspired by his dad, but his dad, you know, took it too far, you know, made him live out his dream. For Kevin, if he can win, mm. he would become the number one contender. Ooh. Ooh. And there's a good punch. Connects once. Mm. Twice. And three times. Mm. Kevin mm -hmm. again off the ropes. Ooh. Oh, he yep, yep. He had to be... He had to beat Kevin's ass a little bit in the beginning, just so you could, it shows that Kevin can come back from adversity. Suplex him! Suplex him! Oh, and he, he tosses Kevin over the top in a suplex! Oh no, I hope he doesn't do it! And he does! Oh, not even in the ring. Ah, oh, dude, that fucking hurt him. That hurt him. Wait, I feel wait, I feel like he might actually have a, like a serious injury from that. Like, they, like he's gonna have a career-altering injury. Or he's just giving a hell of a performance right here. It's probably both. Like, he's probably actually in a ton of pain. And he's just giving a great performance on top of it. As race gets him into yet another suplex. But Kevin spins. Ooh. 
Get him. Here he comes off the ropes. Mm. Oh, you don't. No, that was three seconds. Fuck, that was three seconds. Oh, shit. Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, he's breaking in. Beat his Okay, that's probably real. Okay, that's probably actually real. Get out of here. I dare you to come back in. Hell yeah. Harley Race, I dare you. Afraid I was going to be soon. Dude, that dad shocked. That dad went through so many emotions right there. And my brother here put a good old fashioned Texas whooping up. You are the past, Ooh. my friend. We're the future of this sport, so you keep on running. Okay, his brother can actually talk shit. He's gonna become a star. And he will fight you anywhere, anytime at that NWA mm. World Heavyweight title. Damn, that was powerful. You were long getting up. Bro, because that shit fucking hurt. Just never hit the floor that hard before. Yeah. He wasn't supposed to throw me out the ring. I physically couldn't. I just couldn't move. Yeah. This is how they test you. Those rap bastards will use any excuse they can to screw us over. Mm -hmm. David, great on the mic, son. Yeah. But you were incredible out there. Why didn't you let me talk? Yeah, I'm sorry, Kev. I thought I was helping. Can't, they need to know Kevin can like actually can talk shit on the mic, you know? Get the crowd riled up, stuff. His brother kind of stole the spotlight right there. Oh, there he is. There's our boy. I've been wondering where he is. Hmm. What's going on? I can't say at this moment what other nations will not go. Ours will not go. We're not going. So, yeah, Jeremy Allen White here is a track athlete. He can't go now. So he's, he turns to wrestling. Hey, hey, boy. <laughs> Mikey. Mm. Look at you. I can pour you some more, more lemonade or something. Uh, he brought her home to the family. I saw a new show pop. It's great. Was it the bear? You see all the new camera angles? They're cool, right? We're talking about wrestling, not camera angles. Okay, bro, it's still interesting. That's what he's interested in. Should support it. We, ha we actually have a gig. We are? Well, it's tonight at UT Dallas. Mm. All right, we're coming. We're coming. Too young to set foot on a university campus oh on a Saturday. Your mom said no. Now that's the end of it. I mean, we could take him. Could play the gig, and we'll leave right after. Mm. Sure. Oh. The answer is no. Damn. Oh, they're going anyway. Dude, they're boys. You can't control them. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, so they don't make a ton of noise turning the truck on. <laughs> See, okay, these are good brothers. Like, these are really good brothers. Like, I get, I get the mom's like worried about him, but like, dog, he's there with he's there with all of his brothers. His three other brothers. No one's doing shit to him. Like, he's gonna be safe. But it's also like they don't necessarily approve of what he's doing because it's not something like wrestling or football. He has different aspirations, and they just don't get it. He's pretty good at this too. Okay, I hope, <laughs> at least with this son, the dad and the mom, like they recognize how much the brothers support him. So then they start supporting him as well, you know? I love your family, mm. I don't know if you've been thinking about your future, mm. but you should think about wrestling. I only wrestle to provide for y'all. And I always hoped you boys would choose another profession. Just trying to play it down. But the Olympics has been taken from you. I want to fight back. Mm. And the more of us in it together, the better. I want you to join your brothers in the ring. Yes, sir. I love that. Kerry's already a good athlete, so it makes sense. And he gives them a better chance of winning, so. <laughs> this song. Oh, I love it. Oh, a 3v3? Oh, we're fucking waxing. Oh my god. Oh, we're unbeatable. Oh my god. Damn. No, oh, we got an apartment. You've done nothing but lie, bully, and cheat your way to victory. Yeah, I just let him talk, do all this shit talking. Hey, if they're gonna be a triplet, then like, it works. If all three of them stick together. The hands that will deliver the iron claw to you. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. And <laughs> oh, that's hard with the song too. 
Dude, I think the casting for this movie is perfect. The brothers, oh my god, I, it's perfect. Okay, 1983. Oh shit. Oh, 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 we got, oh no, oh no, oh no. What's he going to do Save him. him. Here comes Sam in a drop kick. Carry falls on Gordy, and that's it. That's teamwork. That is teamwork. Tonight you saw the strength and resilience of my family. That David Von Eric will be the next NWA World Heavyweight Champion. And then each and every one of my sons, the greatest family in the history of wrestling. That's powerful. First, sure he doesn't mean me first. How does he make mistakes like that? Yeah, I don't know. He might have meant that first. I don't know. There might be an yeah, internal conflict between all of them. That's the issue when you have a team of three. It's like, who's going to be the champion first? You know, it's like, you don't want egos to start getting in the way. But then again, like, they're, oh, there's ta oh, they're taking juice. They're juicing. I mean, honestly, I'm not even shocked. But I don't think their egos will. I mean, like, I could, I could kind of see it. They're already so close. It's like, not, like, who cares what order happens in, you know? I don't know. It could be a problem. We are finally getting a world heavyweight title shot with Ric Flair. And they want it to be you, David. Then you'll go to Japan. You can't be world champion unless you win over Japan. Mm -hmm. Then you'll fight with Flair at Parade of Champions in May at Texas Stadium. Okay, I don't think he's a better wrestler. I don't think he gives a better performance than Kevin or Kerry. But he can talk shit better. And that that's probably what it is. That's probably the difference why they chose him first. And your collective effort has pushed him to the top. You never know when your opportunity will come. Damn. They probably feel so conflicted. Fuck you, David. Fuck you. Okay, I was gonna say, Carrie. Carrie just came into this, so he probably doesn't feel as like conflicted. But Kevin probably feels like, no, it should be me. It should, oh, they got married. Like I'm sure he's happy for him, but for Kevin, it would be hard to not feel resentment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we uh, just some stomach cramps. Mm. <coughs> Damn, no, you're throwing up blood, dog. Jesus, man. You're not okay. You need to see a doctor. No, I'm fine. You're not fine. Maybe you're pushing too hard. Mm, yeah. You need to rest. I don't think you should go to Japan next week. Mm. I didn't take it so well. You jumped me and all. Mm, yeah. But I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to support you regardless. I got pretty angry. Not at you. Just at the whole situation. Yeah. I just love being out there with you guys. Look at you, man. Married two hours and already mm. losing your competitive edge. Dude, this is this is healthy. This is really healthy. I'll be pretty happy to focus on my family, though. Mm. Family. She's pregnant. Turns out this is a shotgun, but you rat bastard! <laughs> Don't tell anyone. You gonna be an uncle? <laughs> yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Well, all right. Damn. Happy for them. Oh no! Out. Let me look at you. Real quick. No, I'm good. Let's get. You know, honestly. I feel like Kevin would have taken the information, could have taken that a little bit better. He wouldn't have been so angry if the dad just did a better job, honestly. It feels like the dad built up Kevin the most out of everyone, gave Kevin all these expectations. So he, like I expected and Kevin expected him to be the first one to get a world title shot against Ric Flair. So when you get that news, it's it just throws you off, you know? Like I said, Kevin, he's not mad at his brother for it. Wait, am I getting their names wrong? <laughs> I think I am. I don't think Kevin would have gotten mad if David got the opportunity first, if the dad just set the right expectations from the beginning, I guess. I don't know. Huh? David. What? What happened? He died in his hotel room in Japan. What the fuck? Oh my god. A ruptured intestine. Yeah, he wasn't okay. How does that happen? It's because he didn't rest. You know? Damn. David tried to tell him, like, you need the rest. Don't let it, don't let the dad push you so hard. You know, tell him the fuck off when you need to. Take your rest. Like, damn, he sent a postcard back. I miss you, brother. Someone asked me for an autograph today because they thought I was you. Damn. It made me very happy. Oh. I'll probably be home by the time you get this, so this is stupid, but just wanted to send. Damn. It's like, damn, dude, I'm gonna cry. Now, David's title match against Ric Flair at Parade of Champions is a moment of a lifetime. It's gonna be passed on the Kevin. If one of you will step up and wrestle in his place, everything we have ever worked for in the ring is riding on this moment. You know, 
I'm sure they want it, but at the same time, I'll do it. Oh, yeah, he did. he'll do it. But at the same time, like, I feel like they're going to tweak on the dad by being like, look, not everything's about wrestling. I'll do it. I'm ready. Hey. Ooh. It's my match. No, I deserve it too. Boy. Kevin deserves it more. We're going to flip a coin. <laughs> heads for Kerry, tails for Kevin. It's going to be heads. Mm. That was clean. It's it's Kerry. See the knee pads. Ah, oh, yeah, she mom came and watch. Mm. Wait, did he win? Oh, he won. Damn, he won. Oh fuck, he actually did it. I can't believe it's finally in our family. You were great today. Hmm. Yeah, he's still gonna be there for him. He's still gonna support him and everything. He's happy for him, but it's just, like I said earlier, it's hard not to have resentment. Cause it's like, Kevin feels like it should have been him. Damn, he's going pretty fast. Bro, don't tell me he fucking dies too. Hmm, okay, I'm, I'm nervous. I feel like something bad happened. Ooh, he's back. Um, he crashed and now he's on crutches. Mmm. <gasps> he crashed and he lost his foot. Don't cross your damn feet. Shuffle. Oh, uh, he's wrestling now too. Come on, goddammit, switch your feet! I don't mean anything bad by this, but I don't I don't think wrestling's for him. It's not it's not just like the fact that he's not physically imposing or anything. It's just the it's the performance part of it. He seems like more of a shy reserve type of guy. Ooh. Damn, that was clean. Mm, again. Mm. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, he probably just dislocated his shoulder. Damn. Dude, this movie took a left turn so quickly. Like the David like David passing away came out of nowhere. We completed the surgery as planned. Mm -hmm. We repaired the shoulder, but it was trickier than we anticipated. He can't rest. Mike's temperature skyrocketed. Mm. We worked really hard to bring no. it down, but it was close to 107 for almost two hours. No. We believe he suffered toxic shock syndrome. What does that mean? No. Don't tell me he died. say that Mike is in a coma. Oh my. How? It was a routine shoulder surgery. Well, it's rare, but it happens. All we can do now is wait and pray he pulls through. I'm very sorry. Bro, what the fuck? This movie just took... It took a left turn out of nowhere. Like we we were up, we were going up, and then just boom, just straight down. But it keeps happening. God, yeah. It's taken over. That's why he didn't give the baby the last name. He shouldn't have even been in the ring. Damn. Yeah. I should have stopped him. No. No. This is tragic. And he probably only wrestled because the dad was like, "Well, we lost David. Carrie can't wrestle anymore because he lost his foot." So he probably was like, "Okay, you're up next," you know. And it's like that's not what he wanted either, obviously. And David, yeah, David feels like shit now. It feels like it's all him because he could see like it's not. It wasn't for him. And but he just, you know, felt the pressure from his dad to push him to be a wrestler. And then you know the shoulder, and now he's in a fucking coma. Thank you all for coming, dude. And thank you for all the love. Oh, okay, okay. He didn't die. He didn't pass away while in the coma. Shows how much of a fighter he is. Mm-hmm. After losing David, it's just... It's too much to think that we almost lost Mike, too. My whole family is here with me through everything, and... Uh... Dude, what's, what's really sad about this is that he was really good. I thought he was really good at singing. Like, I felt like he definitely had something going for him with that. And then, like, yeah, he can't do that now because, like, he can barely talk. He's having a hard time talking now, so. Like, like wrestling this, it's not something you could just pick up this late in life, I feel like. Unless you're an athlete, like Kerry. Like Kerry Carrie was already a really good athlete. He was already a really good competitive athlete. So he was able to pick it up. But 
with Mike, it's like Mike's probably never done anything like this up until this point in his life. So it's a completely different situation. Like there's no fucking shot I could pick that up. I could ever, ever pick it up this late in my life. You know, and Mike is more of a shy and reserved type of guy. He probably had a really hard time telling the dad like, no, this, this isn't what I want. You know, so that's where Kevin feels like shit because Kevin, Kevin could see it and Kevin didn't say anything to the dad. I feel like later in this movie, Kevin's gonna really press the dad. Hmm. Yeah, he, he can't even run. Yeah. Not David. Everybody wants me to be David, but I can't replace him. No. Dude, this is so sad. I see how much pain you're in. Mm -hmm. I can't rush this. It's gonna oh, take time, Carrie. Mm-hmm. Get old daddy's attention, fuck you. Mm. I want you in the ring. I can't do this by myself. Come out! Uh. Come out! Ooh, ooh. <clears throat> Help him up. There, yeah. I'm going to a better place. No. It's the weight of expectations. Dude, I fucking feel for this family. This is their third funeral. I want him to get it. I don't want you guys to catch him. Kevin, you can't be- I don't complain! I carry on! But the bottom line is- You're denying- I am talking right now. Hey, Let listen me to me! Question. Let me ups and downs! If you're a real man, you never go down, you just stay up. Day in my life. Kevin's either gonna fuck him up, and absolutely dominate or he's gonna lose because he's gonna be distracted because of everything that just has happened before this oh, he's going right away. Mm. Damn. He's just not, yeah, he's not focused. Mm, this is gonna take all the frustration out. Oh. Mm, it's Darren Claw, but like. Come on, can't break the yeah, the ref's like, bro, chill. On, the ref's being serious. Mm. Winner by disqualification. And still mm. in WWE oh. Heavyweight Champion, oh. Ric Flair. Damn. Yeah, he just feels like shit, and it's like his family's not even, his brother and his dad's not even like there for him. They're just pissed at him for it. Yep, he's gonna be there with his wife and his kid. Dude, I swear to God, if something happens to his wife and his kid, I'm gonna be so fucking mad. <laughs> this curse, break this curse. What'd you learn? Oh, he has two kids. Is he not wrestling anymore? You can get the guys touring during the week. Mm. Bring him home for a Saturday night. Yeah, give him a break. It's a good offer. We should think about it. I don't know, Carrie's wrestling again. He's still active. I was gonna say earlier, Carrie's Carrie's so competitive, it was there's no shot he was ever gonna give up. I didn't give you the company so you could turn around and sell it. I need to think about my family. We can't fit in that apartment anymore. If you sell, you can forget about stepping through these doors again. Damn, mm -hmm. you're almost 40 years old. Still can't take care of yourself. Fuck you. I've been through the books. Mm. It doesn't add up. Oh, is he taking money? You think living here was a free ride? <laughs> Don't you dare question me. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, no, I'm, I'm selling that company. I'm... Second biggest title in wrestling since your brother ruined our promotion. Knew it was time to retire when I... Well, I don't want to shoot it now. Well, you always shoot a gun when you get it. I don't want to shoot it, Carrie. Well, why the fuck not? Carrie, mm. what is wrong? Are you okay? Yeah. No, I don't think it is. Hello. I don't, I don't know. It's oh, cold hey. in the middle of the night. Good, good. Why didn't you go home? I'm scared, man. 
Oh, I'm scared. I'm out of control. You gotta get some help. That's why he's calling you. I'm in pain. I'm in pain all the time. I'm fucking deformed. It takes too much to hide it. They're not giving me a new contract. Mm. They don't want me anymore. No, I need family. Just come here. Stay with us. Cause your dad's not gonna do shit. Just tell me where you are. I'll come to you right now. Get you. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Shut the fuck up. Just look out for him. Okay, dude. I'll be there as soon as I can. This is what happens when you're too tough on them. Oh, like, what happened? Why was that car door open when the front door is open? Mmm. <gasps> <gasps> Are Him. You Is that the gun he got him to? I don't know. Dude. It was a gun. Tails. Hey brothers! Um he's reunited in the afterlife, yeah, that's why he has his foot back and he's with his brothers again. World champion of the afterlife, huh? Finally. Um, hey, where's Jack Jr.? <laughs> oh, he was that young when he died. Dude. <laughs> God damn. No, I'd love for you to stay on wrestling. If you want. I appreciate it. Nice old up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, <laughs> Dude, this movie's so fucking sad. I'm happy for him that he has a, like he still has his wife and his two kids. But dude, he lost all of his brothers. Marshall. Damn. Yeah, just watching them play. Just. You okay, Dad? Lee. Sorry, boys. Mm hmm. You shouldn't see me like this. No, Man it's okay. Cry. It's okay, Dad. You can cry. Everyone cries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we. I guess it's because I used to be a brother. I'm not a brother anymore. We'll be your brothers, Dad. Yeah, Dad. We'll be your brothers. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Yeah, it's what he needs. It's like, oh my god. Oh, that's real cool. Damn, they nailed the look. Mm. Damn, 13 grand shoulder. <laughs> Damn, oh, wait, oh my god, what a photo of that case. That's so fucking high. <laughs> Damn. Alright. Well, that was Iron Claw. I just realized my audio, my mic stopped recording right there at the last part, so I apologize for that. All right, but that was Iron Claw. Oh my God, what a what a damn movie, dude! This movie hit me right in the feels. Felt the emotions from it for sure. Like it it hit hard. Like, dude, it's so sad to see how everyone was struggling in the movie and like like the dad was the catalyst for all of it because he was just so goddamn tough on them. Like, oh, you need to work that out with your brother. Fuck you, dude. Like that's so frustrating. And it's like, I get you want your kids to be tough, but there is a limit to it. There is, there is too much to it. And the dad is an example of being too tough. Like, he's not there for them at all, and he's just a fucking dickhead. You know, it's not gonna make them better. Kevin here, like, he's gonna raise his kids in, like, the exact opposite way he was raising the dad, than how the dad raised all of them. Those, those kids are gonna have a support system now, and, like, they're, he's gonna be there for them, and he's gonna make sure they have everything they need. I'm sure he's gonna be tough on them when he needs to be, you know, but he's not gonna overdo it. He's gonna push them 
to do what they want to do and not make them do what they want to do. Like, fuck no, they are not going to do wrestling. I, I know this is a true story. Like, I don't know what happens after the movie, you know, but I will guess he did not make them do wrestling. If they went on to do wrestling, it's because they wanted to, not because he made them do it. Like, dude, and it's so sad. Like, he lost all of his brothers. And then, like, okay, the part right there where the kids are like, I'll, like, we'll be your brothers. Like, dude, oh my God, that hit so hard. Like, yeah, he had such a good relationship with all of his brothers. They were so close to each other. Like, they were, th they were there for each other because the dad wasn't i feel like that'd be a perfect relationship to have with your kids you know your two sons and your and i'm and you're damn right he's gonna be there for them he's gonna be there for them anytime and like going back to um to david it's like we like we knew something was wrong with david david knew like deep down david knew something was wrong but it's like the dad the way the dad raised him was like be tough push through it no matter what you're fine you're fine you're fine when it's like no you know this is deeper than that it's not just something you can brush off but it's like he was just raised to think like that so, yeah and then eventually you know he had an intestine failure and then he passed away all that weight went on to kevin because kevin knew something was wrong too and kevin tried to be there for him and it's just they dismissed it so with mike mike didn't want to be a wrestler he he did not want to do that it has something you have to start very 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 early in life it's not something you can just pick up and be a professional at like there's no no, no way you're gonna be able to do that like like i said there's no way i could pick that up right now in my life fuck no there's not there's not a chance and it's like okay carrie was able to pick it up because carrie was already an established athlete he was already a very high level athlete like there's a difference between carrie and mike in that case mike went for a drop kick and he didn't he didn't take the fall correctly and he broke his shoulder and then that just led into him in the surgery him going into a coma and it's just so many complications and then mike feeling the weight of expectations he's not who his father wants him to be and then yeah and then he commits suicide carrie coming in here taking the also taking the weight of expectations on it too and then he got into a motorcycle accident he lost his foot and not being able to wrestle anymore he kept he tried to push through it and, and he kept wrestling but then the league eventually dropped him or whatever because he just wasn't good enough at that point and then that got to him too and, then, and no one and carrie tried to reach out to kevin and Kevin tried to be there for him, but it's like, they're so far away. There's nothing Kevin could really do. So he tried to call dad, check up on him. And the dad was just like, oh, we'll work that out. Like, and then, yeah, it's just, it's so sad to see you, dude. It's so sad. Like, this was a phenomenal movie. So I didn't do it. The saddest part is this was based on a true story. Like, I hope Kevin's doing well, dude. <laughs> I really hope he is. The brothers had such a good relationship. It makes me wish I had a relationship like that with multiple brothers, you know? Because it, it's such a unique and special thing to have to see him lose his brothers one by one it's just like fuck dude it makes me wish i had that and not even with brothers but just with friends in general too and not to dump that on you guys but that part but just that part of it definitely made me feel in the beginning happy for them it slowly killed me to watch on the inside and i know i, I didn't really talk much but it's like it's something that like i wasn't really sure how to express but it definitely got me so but yeah that was iron claw Comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.